in this tutorial, we would like to demonstrate the setup of a simple point source with a noise barrier and calculate a grid of receiver points in order to graphically display the sound level. After starting the program, by double-clicking on the IMI program icon, the starting dialog opens. Click on the Create New Project button and then on OK to edit an empty project. Verify that topic is set to Noise. In the field Emission Variant, set the number of emission variants to 1 so that only rating period is taken into account. You can use the arrow buttons next to the input field. Select the Work Area tab. Here you can enter the limits of your work area. Preset values are 0 to 1000 in X and Y direction and 0 to 100 for the height Z. Click on the OK button to confirm these values. This will open the map, which is the central editing window in IMI. Now we will set up a single point source and a noise barrier to demonstrate the basic design operations. Select ISO 9613-2 from the toolbox on the left. The point source is pre-selected. Click on the Draw Elements button in the Design toolbox. This button is for creating new elements. If you want to edit existing elements, please use the Edit Elements button on the left. Left click on the desired position for setting up the noise source on the map. The respective input mask will open directly after you've generated the point source. On the left side of the dialog, you will find general properties of the element. Enter the name of the sound source, which shall be Circular Saw in our example. Also enter the relative height of 1 meter. On the right side of the dialog you will find the emission properties of the sound source. For this basic example, directly enter the emission value for the period day with 120 decibel. Then confirm your entries with OK. Move to the standard element library. Click on the wall element button to select the wall element type. Left click to set the first node of the wall and left click a second time to set the second node. Right click to complete your entry of the element geometry. This will automatically open the input dialog for the wall element. Click on the geometry input button in the column for the relative height. Enter Z equals 5 meters for the first node and Z equals 7 meters for the second node. This will result in an inclined wall. Exit the dialogs by clicking OK. At this point, let's save the project. Save the project file with File, Save Project As, and enter Point Source, for example. Now, we would like to calculate a reception point grid for the setup. You can directly open the dialog for the grid calculation by clicking on the respective symbol in the upper area of the program window. Click the Edit button in the Calculation Area menu. This shows you the available grids and double-clicking on an entry opens the dialog to define the grid dimensions. Ensure that step sizes both in X and Y direction is 20 meters. 
leave the grid field setting as it is, in this case, on work area. Click OK to complete the entry. Start the grid calculation by clicking on Calculate. The reception point grid is calculated and we can now save the grid by clicking on the Save button in the lower area of the dialog. Enter the name and save the grid. The file name extension of ImmiGrid files is IRD. Click Close to leave the dialog. To use the possibilities of an additional graphical evaluation, click on the Grid Display Options button and select Grid of Squares. Click on OK to view the grid. You can also change back to the presentation as interpolated grid and add ISO lines, for example.